some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Sarasota County, Florida, at the local courthouse with Looney Lana and uh, Jailbird Joey as they attempt to uh, show the police who's boss, but unfortunately, they end up, well, getting put out on the street. You know, Joey, uh, if you're going to show somebody who's the boss, you might as well go ahead and do it in your own home because that's the only place that you personally have any authority at all. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Boom. Is this a courthouse? Go uh -huh. only. You wanna go in? Yeah. Yeah, it's a justice center. Yeah. It is in public records. Yeah. State attorney's office in here. Right there. Yeah, we're going to have to go. Alright. So, I'm gonna do some public records with him. Cool. Public defenders and courts. Excuse me. You're not allowed to record in here. Yeah. No, okay. you're not. We're, we're what law is that? It's a. Uh, it's, uh... Is there a law? A statute? Is that a law? Is that a statute? Is that all you could say, Joey? Uh, well, Joey, uh, there's a piece of paper that is given to you here in a little bit. That pretty much covers that. In fact, the Florida Constitution, yes, Florida does have a constitution. All 50 states pretty much have a constitution, just like the federal constitution. Because, you know, Tenth Amendment grants states the rights to create laws are not covered in the uh, constitution. But at any rate, this piece right here shows the part of the Constitution that gives the judges the uh, authority within the uh, Florida court system. And as such, uh, the judges have created appropriate uh, procedures to help with security that are mentioned in this document right here that do have uh, codes attached to them, which they can and will enforce. So, Joey, it's not a matter of tyranny. It's just that, uh, well, you are poorly educated and uh, will not take the time to do any research to educate yourself. It's, a, it's an order from the chief judge. Oh, it doesn't make a difference. Uh, it makes a difference. And no, the difference is What's your name, man? Diaz. What's so, your badge number? 2050. What's, why, are you good, why are you so hostile? No, no, right? because... Like, can I, can okay. I, so you're, telling me, you're telling me a chief judge's order is higher than the U.S. Constitution? Yeah. Hey, hey, Lana, you served in the military. You should be aware of the fact that there are 50 states within the Union that each have their own constitution, and uh, which means they are self-governing to a point. So, Lana, you really need to take some civics lessons because the uh, Constitution only can carry you so far. Yeah, we're... Well, you can go and argue that with her. I'm not going to argue with you. To what me. I'm going to tell you is you cannot do it here. You need to turn it off. If I don't. If you don't, I, I well, can arrest you. You, well, you can arrest, arrest me? All right. Are, are you, you sure about that? Me. I will arrest you. Okay. For what well, crime? For what crime? Uh, it's called obstruction. Obstruction, obstruction. of what? So if, I don't turn, if I don't leave right now reporting, I'll leave. Then you'll arrest me. Diaz yeah, control. I need some back up at 2071. Just say yes and I'll walk just out. Just say door. yes and I'll walk so out. Under threat, of, well, so under threat of so arrest, well, you'll arrest us? You say it on yes, camera. I would arrest you. Okay, that's all I need. That's all I need to know. Hey, can, okay, I, can well, I speak well. to a supervisor? Yeah. Of course, my supervisor told me that in that so big white a, building with a Show me the law. Can you show me the law? I told you already. Okay, so why are you enforcing something that's not a law, man? Hey, Joey, you really should get your mouth checked out for athlete's foot as much as you stick your foot into it because these uh, policies are enforced by the damn law, numbnuts. 
because it's an order. It's a court order. You know that. Yes, you know this is, is this is a constitutional right that I have. I'm no, investigating no, the police I'm department. Not an okay, well, no, I'm letting you. I'm telling you. Following rules. Okay, mm. I have I have orders that I have to follow. Yeah, so unlock. I told you my supervisor. Orders that are bogus. White building across the street. You have no supervisor here. You can go talk to him over there. You have no supervisor. Do you here. have? I told you where it's at. My supervisor is in a white so building no across the street. Can you show me that rule? I just want to see. Yes. I want to record it. Yeah. I want to record the rule. I'll, I'll give it to you. Just give me one minute. Okay, no problem. Yeah, cool. This is this is. No. This is where the this is where the tyranny right here. This is why the disconnect we guys got, man, with people and you guys, man. Yeah, I agree. There is a disconnect, Joey. Uh, there's a disconnect between well you and reality. You see, in your little fantasy world, you want anarchy where you have complete power, but in reality, you have no power at all, dude. And in reality, there is the rule of law which you don't seem to want to follow, and uh, therefore it has resulted in a rather lengthy criminal record. This is, we're just recording peacefully, man. That's it. No, all right, cool. I'll keep that. Oh, look. He's actually showing it to his audience, but I don't have high hopes for a good portion of his audience to go look any of this stuff up. I mean, even though it's all printed right there in black and white and easy to look up, yeah, I don't think Joey or his audience will bother to even look it up. They'll just scream tyranny and uh, uh, overlook this kind of thing. So this is what you got, guys. This is the tyranny right here. You can't videotape. I will ask you one more time. Please stop recording in the building. I will be right. And this I guess you will. All right, we'll, we'll, be, we'll stand outside. That's it. Okay, no problem. No problem. It. We're going to file a complaint on you right now. Okay. Look at the whole squad comes out here. Look at this. The whole the police department. Yeah. Are you the supervisor? Are you the supervisor? Maybe. Sorry. Look, guys. Check this out. Shame. Shame on the Sarasota County Sheriff's Office. Tyranny. Nothing but tyranny. Yeah. A bunch I'll of go government clowns. Gangsters, yeah. dude. Supervisor? Could we speak to you? But why are you calling them clowns? Because what the, you're showing on that document goes way above their heads. They can't do anything about this, you dumbass. So why are you attacking... The people at the bottom who have no power, instead of going straight to the top, to the lawmakers who do have the power to change something. Well, I'll tell you why. Because you would be arrested and really suffer the consequences. Yeah, Joey, you don't want to do that now, do you? You blooming coward. Yeah. Can I speak to your supervisor, man? How you doing, sir? What's the problem, man? All right, we just wanted to come over here and file some public records requests. Okay. All right. And then and what, you're not allowed to record yeah. inside the building. Okay, what? and then continue recording. Is that what I'm hearing? That's the administrative order. So, so, mm. but you're telling me that you get your branch yeah. walls now, right? No, 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 Lana. Why don't you try reading uh, the Florida Constitution and realize that the... Uh, Judicial branch has been given power over their own branch to uh, create policies within their court houses to control the security preparations and everything like that. I mean, it's only logical that they would be given power to control their buildings. That way, idiots don't come in off, uh, flying off the handle and uh, causing mass deletions and everything like that, you bloody idiot. Is that what you're yeah, talking about? Yeah, administrative order. I expl like they explained to you, administrative order is there's no recording of any of so the buildings. So you're telling me that the administrative order and is higher than the are Constitution? Are you listening to what I'm telling you? I, yeah. 
obviously can hear you. Yeah. Well, you, you all can I get your name and badge number? Listen to what I'm saying. 2968, right here. Cool. Because he explained you what the rules are. If you're not willing, if you, if you, you don't care what the I don't care what the U.S. Constitution. Yeah, you so know, you, 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 you know, guys swore an oath to this, man. If you don't care about these rules, then you're not going to vote. So if Simple I go back in, what's going to happen? If you go back and you continue recording, then you're going to have the For what crime? Okay. For what crime, though? Sure. And what's your badge number? ID 2633. Okay, so now you've actually been now the number one on the federal lawsuit. Yeah, that's it. You're that's crazy. Yeah. You guys are. Uh, that's crazy. Very you simple. But do you understand how it's not simple? It's the U.S. Simple. Constitution, it's called freedom. We're going in the public areas. Yeah, we have a right, a First Amendment right to do that. Absolutely. Exactly. That's absolutely. It's called freedom of press. Yep. U.S. Constitution. Okay. Amendment you, number one. That's used for absolutely. Absolutely. Press, Everybody press. Are sir. you press representative? Independent. Independent journalist. Okay. okay. Oh, I have a very large following. Okay. So you, you'll you'll know Good. who I am. Good. Okay. Okay. So, so my so my thing basically is basically it's very simple. Yeah. Okay. How's my deputy explain to you? Can I ask you a quick question before we leave? Do you understand what the First Amendment is? Absolutely. Do you understand what the five freedoms are? Absolutely. Okay. So you know what freedom of press is. Okay. Good. Glad you answered me. Thank you. Because that actually can play on the Because that way, you, that, that actually helps strip away the problem. What's your name and badge number? I'd like to go in a park on the way. ID number 1806. All right. Cool. I have to report my transaction. That is my policy. Oh, my God. Are you the highest sergeant in here? You will not be able to do that. Are you the highest sergeant here? Sergeant Sergeant White is actually the one who's over these deputies that work here. Okay. So, sir, if I go back in recording, what's going to happen? For what crime would you arrest us for? Violation of the administrative order. So, okay. so, so this, this is the whole building? Correct. Okay. So what would be the crime though? If we get arrested. Obstruction. Obstruction. All right, cool. All right, cool. Resisting without violence. Retaliation. I'm sorry, it was it would be resisting without violence. Because you have to have a violation. For video recording are public employees. Correct. Because in that you administrative think? order assigned by the chief judge. What do you think about that yourself personally? What do you think about that? I mean, you swore an oath. You swore an oath to the Constitution, man. Yeah. So we're now, we're so just now exercising the, our rights. So now that you free press, that's it. Laws? Is that what you're saying? It's their building. It's not. No, their it's, it's the, the, people's the people's building, building man. Sir. We the pay this building. That, you work for. that is the, the administrative order. The, uh, you guys have it all twisted, man. The they don't own this building. The sheriff's office and the judge can go on inside this office. Yeah, it's unconstitutional. You know that, right? So it's unconstitutional for the judges. To have control over the uh, uh, courthouse. Uh, tell me, uh, which constitution does does that go against? Because I, I know it wouldn't go against Article 3 of the U.S. Constitution or any one of the three clauses in there. Because, well, it just doesn't mention in any of that in there. And, well, there is the Florida Constitution where Article 5 has uh, power over the uh, judicial branch of Florida, and that doesn't really say it either, dude. So, where are you getting this bullshit from? This is why we record you guys. This is why I investigate the police department. Tyranny and corruption. You guys don't seem to give a damn, bro, just by the looks of your faces, man. We come to file public records, very respectful. You're violating so, again, my this rights. Is your, this is First your, Amendment. This so is you your, understand the Second Amendment, correct? Right? I'm trying to have a conversation. You guys, you guys are dirty. dirty. That's dirty, man. So we just have that. cameras. That's it. We have a job you just like you guys have a job. You know? Photograph is not a crime. Photographing is not a crime. No shit. Photographing is not a crime. But that's not the uh, main issue here. The main issue is, well... You have proven yourself to be a complete and total moron when it comes to doing the slightest bit of research to make yourself look halfway intelligent, Joey. I mean, come on now, dude. Uh, you need to do a lot better than what you've been doing. I mean, your arguments uh, would be laughed out of court at this point because you are such a stupid little individual. Very simple. I explained the rules. Well, there's, there's no rules. The I explained the rules. That, 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 that won't fly in court, so man. Second, I'll be arrested. Yes, ma'am. Okay. okay. You said it. And that, and that you're correct. Correct. You'll arrest me, exactly too? You will arrest me? If you film, if you go back in there and film and they ask you That's to stop. That's for me to say. You're talking about yeah. No, if but you're telling him, you're telling, you're telling him what to say. I'm asking you a personal question. If you go back in there because you 
What's wrong with me? What's wrong with recording? What's wrong with that? But what's wrong with that? I know what I Tyranny, dude. The school of tyranny right here. I inform you again that you can't do that. So if you go in there and continue ignoring what we tell me, yes, that's the challenge. Okay, so we can just record through the glass. It's the same thing. It's the same thing of being inside right here. I don't understand. You guys are a bunch of jokes. Jokes. You guys are corrupt. You're dirty, man. You're dirty. Enforcing and for nah. But listen, you're enforcing. You're not. You're not. Honoring your oath, man. You're not honoring your oath. Yeah, it's dirty, man. It's dirty. It's dirty. Yeah, but what about the law, the Constitution? Forget the rules. The Constitution trumps the rules, man. You guys are a bunch of clowns, man. This is why I investigate the police departments or sheriffs. The same thing. They're all a bunch of clowns in a uniform. Uniform clowns, dude. The shiny badge that gives you extra Oh, Lana. Why do you keep on saying that kind of thing when you keep using the argument the First Amendment gives you special rights and privileges? You pretty much say it in every single one of your videos. These people don't give a damn, dude. Oath, at oath, all. Oath breakers is what it is. That's what they call them. It's all right. We're all exposing this on our, on our platform. That's absolutely yeah. You know what I mean? Administrative order. Check that out, man. They actually had it ready for us. That's the first time I've ever had it ready for them. I'm keeping this, man. Oh, absolutely. I'm going to scan it in. Yeah. It on on. Pure tyranny, guys. Yep, pure tyranny. This is exactly why we, me and Jayton are doing this. Yep. To expose the tyranny, dude. Yep. No, the only thing either one of you have exposed is your incompetence and your lack of knowledge about how anything works. I mean, Lana, you should at least know more than Joey here. Joey has a reason for his issues. He's pretty much a high school dropout. You at least served in the military where this stuff would have been taught to you. But unfortunately, and I don't think any of that sunk in now did it. So go ahead and enjoy your walk of shame. And afterwards, we can all uh, watch a bonus video of a complete moron getting arrested at a library, shall we? A very classic video that I'm sure you guys will enjoy. So today we're going to make them have the police arrest me to get me out of this building. As you see, he's a public servant refusing to identify, which I'm sure is in your policy. Hello, Blackheart Knight here. And today we encounter a fraudster who audits a library with a sword. Why is he carrying a sword? Why he's exercising his Second Amendment rights. Or so he says. But he's really just there to cause trouble and be a pain in the ass to anybody who comes in there, especially the cops. Let's sit down and grab some popcorn and enjoy the show, folks. Okay, so what's your name and position here? My name's Andrew, and I'm the deputy director. I'm okay. Go talk to the police. Okay. Right. Uh, he's filming me in the, um, what is this room called? It'd be a foyer. Foyer. Foyer, lobby, corridor, hallway. Then you're stomping on my Second Amendment constitutional rights? I'm sorry to hear that. W-E-A-B-E-R. 
Pardon me, Jack Wagon, but you don't know what goes through the mind of a fraudster when they walk into a library with the katana. Who knows what they're capable of? He's just looking after the safety of his patrons. That's all. It'd be much better for my attorney if you just admit that you're willing to step on my constitutional right, especially my Second Amendment constitutional right. You just admitted that you don't want me to cuss here, which is against my First Amendment constitutional right. I just asked you to not swear. I didn't say anything until dumb shit here said something to me first. So he's actually disturbing my peace. Um. Um, okay, now you can go f yourself, because now you're asking, now you're trying to stomp on my constitutional rights. And I don't put up with people that do that. Pardon me, jackal. This is a library where people come to research knowledge, and you, sir, are disturbing their peace. So why don't you make like a tree and leave? Because once the police arrive, they'll fit you with the shiny new bracelets and they'll take it down to meet your new bow, Bubba. The Constitution is the supreme law of this land. One more thing to say. It's about the... What are you talking about here? Let's go listen. Uh, your name and position here. Okay. Your name and position here. As you see, he's a public servant refusing to identify, which I'm sure is in your policy. Few moments later. So today we're going to make them have the police arrest me to get me out of this building. <laughs> As I've committed no crime, I've broken no law. And they're also writing up some ban letter for me. So since our last encounter, did you have a chance to check out the Tom Bain Act? Excuse me, more specifically, the Tom Bain Civil Rights Act. Uh, it was made into law in April of 1988, but it was made to law in California in 1987. Makes it a crime for anybody to attempt, interfere, or halt somebody in the constitutional rights. Which is exactly what you and Kevin, who did not identify, are doing right now. Trying to stop my First Amendment, even though Kevin was the first one to initiate contact. And you're trying to initiate the Second Amendment violation of my constitutional rights. Well, let's go listen in, guys. Name and badge number? Sergeant Roberts. Name and badge number? Officer Sansom, 89. Name and badge number. Officer Gilder, 854. Your turn. Mr. Sutherland, sounds like they don't want you at the library? Yes. Well, they don't have a choice. I haven't done anything wrong. I've committed no crime. I broke no law. So Name and badge number. You know me. We've met before. Name and badge number. I'm not your puppet, my friend. Name, yeah, outside. you're my puppet. You work for me. Absolutely not. Have so. I committed a crime? Oh, I like this officer. He's not taking any of his crap. And the dude, this guy is not your puppet. He is there to arrest you if you do not get out of that library with that katana ASAP. You're, you're trespassing. Oh, uh, wrong. No, we went through this last time. 164255 of the Arizona we through, or Oregon we Revised Statute. You're going to shut up and listen. We went, we went through this You're going to shut up and listen. You work for it's me. It's not going to work that way. Oregon Revised Statute 164255 says a person is guilty of committing criminal trespass if they enter or remain unlawfully. Correct. 
In a dwelling. Correct. What crime have I committed? You violated the, the code here of their is code Is there conduct? code of conduct law? Yes, we went through this what last What law time. is it? We went through this last What's time. What's the penal code? Sir. What's the penal code? Shut up and tell me the penal code. Okay. Do you need to be under arrest now? Is that where we're at? Where would I be arrested for? Trespassing. Oh, please do. Here you go. Absolutely. Please do. I do not consent to any search or seizures of my person, property, papers, and effect. There you go. No, I know you're not. This is a huge loss of You have no idea what you just did. Did you see her land? You just illegally took my sword off of me. No, we didn't. Okay, all right, we're one of my getting up, right? Knees. Up on your knees. Up on your knees. no obligation to assist you in We can carry you. Oh my goodness, you. look at the size of that sword. Why would you bring that thing into a local library like that? Are you out of your damn mind? You would have to be. We'd rather not. You're going to have to. It's going to go like that, no huh? Crime. Yeah. I broke no law. Did you I'm under no legal obligation to assist you in kidnapping me. Okay. I'm lift you up just for a second. I gotta check the waist. Yeah, do that. We'll bring a patrol car right over here. I'm requesting a supervisor on scene. We are supervisors. Your supervisor, right. stupid. I'm gonna read you to your right, sir. You have the right to remain. You have the right to remain silent. You have the right to kiss my ass. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Blah, blah, blah. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him or her present while you're oh, being I questioned. Have one. If you can't afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you at no expense. Okay? I have one. You guys are going to find out the hard way. Do you understand your rights? Do you understand you've just violated multiple civil rights violations, and with you carrying me out of here with me committing no crime, you're committing a felony. Yeah, car is, uh, it's called felony kidnapping. So, we had a great conversation last time about Frisbee Golf. Remember that? Yeah, we did. Too bad you guys just ended your careers. You think I'm fucking kidding. Tom Bain Civil Rights Act, violation of Article 18 U.S.C. and 13-241-242. You now just opened all yourselves up to civil litigation under Article 42 U.S.C. 1983. Like I said, we talked about it with the city attorney last time. They yeah, said and the that we city attorney's a fucking moron. We just go with what the lawyers tell us, my friend. Yeah, I'm sorry, but so did the Nazis, and they lost, and now you guys just lost. And I'm requesting your supervisor on scene, or Chief Hurley, because I'm going to go talk to one of them right after this. You're welcome to do that, but the, the chief is not coming out here, nor is my supervisor. All right, well, refuse old services, thanks. Even after I gave you the trespass code, somebody has to remain unlawful. Hey, when the patrol guard and gets I here, have we're going to walk over to it. on camera that I have committed no crime or broken. We need you to help us out, stand up, and I'm not helping you out. Power, okay? we don't I'm not to helping you, you do shit. You're going to vi finish violating my rights and commit a felony yeah, by Ms. moving me from this position. What's going to happen when the patrol guard gets here? We're going to walk out to it. Okay? Looks I'm like not. It's arrived. I'm not going to walk. So I need you to stand up on your feet nope. for this so we can walk out. To nope. I'm completely relaxed. You guys want to commit uh, felony kidnapping? Go ahead. I'm not under no obligation to assist you in doing so. Yeah. And felony kidnapping is defined as taking somebody by force from one location to another against their will. No, you're under arrest. You're under arrest, so that doesn't fly. Oh, so sorry. This is going to be your last opportunity to do it, or we're going to go ahead and carry you. Well, Would you like to, like to walk like a gentleman? I guess you're going to have to carry me. He's going to hurt, but oh well. It's more damage for my attorney. Okay, sounds fine. Well, the video ends there, folks. I'm sure they took him to a nice comfy cell where he could spend some time getting to know his uh, new cellmate, Bubba. And that wraps it up for me in this video, folks. Until next time, have a good night, good day, or whatever. And I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to rate, share, comment, and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it.
Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's... Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?